On Friday night, heartwarming scenes were on display at the R. Premadasa Stadium in Colombo. Australia, which is touring Sri Lanka, won the fifth and last ODI match by four wickets against the island nation as a consolation after having lost the series. The Australians were in for a surprise as thousands of Sri Lankan fans poured into the stadium in Aussie colours, sporting the yellow Australian jersey, chanting Australia, and displaying banners thanking the Australian team for touring their nation amidst their worst ever economic crisis. Australia's tour amidst this crisis brought in the much-needed cheer for the people of Sri Lanka. In return, the Australian team did a lap of honour to thank the fans for their display of love. Right at the start of the tour, Australia's limited over skipper Aaron Finch had said that he was hoping the series could bring some joy and entertainment to Sri Lanka in these difficult times. And the team has managed to do just that. The Australian tour is also bringing in financial support to the Sri Lankan Cricket Board, which has also been hit hard by the crisis. The Sri Lankan Cricket Board has also said that all income from the sale of tickets for the series would be donated to public welfare initiatives. However, this is not the first such instance when cricket has warmed hearts amidst trying times. The Chennai crowd is almost famous for having given the Pakistani cricket team its support in 1997 when they returned to play on Indian soil after a span of 10 years. Sayyad Anwar's record-breaking knock of 194 in that ODI received a standing ovation despite India losing the match. He knows it. In November 1991, the South African cricket team was given a rousing reception by the Indian crowd at the Eden Gardens in Kolkata. This was when South Africa returned to international cricket after 21 long years. In 1970, the ICC suspended South Africa from international cricket indefinitely over its government's policy of apartheid, which saw them play only against the white nations – England, Australia and New Zealand – and also only field white players. South Africa was then boycotted by the cricketing world. However, in 1991, they formed the United Cricket Board of South Africa in an effort to make a fresh start. India was then the first nation to invite South Africa for a cricket series, helping them return to international cricket. Pakistan too was given a cold shoulder by cricketing nations post the terror attack on the Sri Lankan team on its soil in 2009. In fact, it took Pakistan six long years to host international cricket on its soil again. Zimbabwe became the first nation in 2015 to tour Pakistan post the terror attack and they were also given a rousing reception by Pakistan. If anything, cricket has time and again proven that it has the ability to build bridges and bring joy amidst gloomy times. A Federal Report